welcome back to the Inzingy channel for another daily video. Now, I have just watched the KSI versus Logan Paul to the rematch press conference that occurred in LA. And boy, was it cringy. It was cringe. Obviously, like you know what's up with they're making a, a pro fight. No head guards. 12 ounce to 10 ounce boxing gloves now. Somebody is getting knocked the f*** out. But before we do talk about the fight and what happened in the press conference and my thoughts and opinions, before we do what's that, we're going to be reacting to Lil Board's videos. Now, a lot of you probably will know who Lil Board is. If you don't, this is going to be an interesting first time for you. You should honestly go subscribe to him because he's a funny guy. He makes edits of like funny things that happen on YouTube, so let's react. Alright, so as you can see, the KSI Logan Paul 2 press conference, but it's better and I haven't watched this yet, but I know it's going to be hella funny. Here we are, downtown All LA, right, behind me, the Staples Center, which will be sold out <laughs> on November 9th, November 8th, rather, for the big fight, the rematch Oh my god. These. This guy, yeah, like, this bo he's a professional fighter, but he was just literally sort of like, he was, he was looking a bit weird, I don't say he was looking a bit creepy, the way he was just sort of like, he couldn't get his words out. I don't think any of these two actually knew what was up with the KSI and Logan thing, as obviously they're more mainstream media, opposed to, like, you know, the YouTube scene. These two superstars. It's absolute mayhem down there by the stage. As if you're just standing in there. I'm here with Natalie. She is Logan's biggest fan. You even made a sign for him. Why are you excited <laughs> to hear that? <laughs> Great sign. Let's be honest. No one saw that sign. No, what is on that? If you're going to make a sign for somebody, make sure it's, you can read it. Like, come on. I'm here with Natalie. She is oh. Logan's biggest fan. You even made a sign for him. Why are you excited to be here today? I am so excited because I know he's going to win. All right, well, back to you, Lauren. Thank you, Natalie. Here's a look at the rules for the upcoming <laughs> Oh, no. This, this is the Look at the picture. First of all, the woman just was like, hey, thank you very much. Take the mic off you. They put the uh, sorry apology picture of Logan. I think Lil Board must be. Can you let me know in the comments if you know? Is it, I think he's more of a KSI fan. Well, he's, he's in the UK scene, I know that, I think. But And he just put that one picture of JJ as well. But, oh my god. No killing of dogs, no killing of birds, no filming of dead bodies. Food is not allowed to be <laughs> not allowed you in the fight. Subscribe. You know, Fair play. Most fighters guaranteed a knockout. What do you think? Yes. The advantage. The, 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 Bro, the amount of times he said the the advantage, the advantage. Like he didn't. He he was just sort of filling words. Like do you know when you use fillers and sentences, he was using them a lot to just sort of make it not awkward but it was we all saw that it was awkward the, the advantage definitely goes to the, the advantage the advantage what do you got katie let's take a look at what happened at last year's press conference oh, no. that's the thing as well like it, it was just so bad last year like it was ent it's entertaining i'll give it that but for boxing it was just really pathetic let's be honest like especially jake paul with the more warm <laughs> Huge KSI fan. Why are you excited for this fight? Because I mean, KSI's already like. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much. Back to you guys. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, let's get ready to rumble. Let's go. Oh, God. Stop! Stop this. Here they are. First, ladies and gentlemen, Logan Maverick Paul. Shannon Briggs, man, like, why was he there? <laughs> Listen, man, they, they, I, I feel like their team is paying him because he's just annoying. Yes, he was heavyweight champion of the world, like, our X amount of years ago, but he's not current now. He doesn't need to be there. He's just sort of there as like the hype man. Uh, <laughs> he's a friend. Oh, God. Lil Board loves his water bottles when he throws them at people. Next to the stage, his opponent, the Nightmare KSI! <laughs> he's thinking about our new food. All right, he's, the Balkan season's over, we've seen it. <laughs> yeah. Why? Yeah. I did think it was a bit... I know that you got to get up and personal, but they was... A, about to t touch lips, I'm just saying. Hello, Los Angeles. How we doing? <laughs> okay. Right. Finally, before we go to the fighters, we want to hear from the training teams. Shannon and Cannon Briggs. Oh, 
What was that noise? <laughs> the ball throwing again. Yeah, 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 I just I knew it. I knew I knew he was gonna say that. And of course, KSI's nice head trainer beat out Riley. Respect to Vidal, he was funny what he said about uh, Shannon Briggs. That's cool, that's cool. No one's heard of you for the last five years, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh. What the f what was that? Ladies and gentlemen, Logan Paul. God damn it. This was, this was awkward. This is basically the scene, real raw footage here. Alright, listen. Where's that G at? Where's your family, JJ? You are well, disgusting. It's farted. This is a professional fight. JJ has no dick. JJ has no dick. JJ has no dick. <laughs> you are disgusting. What are these hey, gases? Right hey, how's my dick? Hey, man, does JJ hey. have a dick? Hey. No. <laughs> your parents are at home watching this right now on the screen. Uh. And I got a message. I got a message for them. Zoom into my face right now. Mr. and Mrs. KSI. Just doesn't zoom in on the face. For giving me the opportunity to beat the shit out of your oh. asshole. Let's go, champ. Thank you. Uh -uh. And by the way, JJ, you're looking a little thick and you smell like veggie. You are disgusting. <laughs> First of all, before I talk about you, Logan, I want to smell talk about like Jay. Let's talk about Jay real quick. Robert! Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I fake my wedding for views. It's not something we already don't we don't already know. Take your fucking crybaby, man. Demonetization. Yeah, talk to me, dude. Ah! Are you not fighting, Jay? Eddie, you won't let me fight. Talk to me. Hey, it's my turn. Let me talk to Logan. In this fight, you're gonna. I thought like JJ. I'll talk about this in a minute, but JJ was more reserved in this as opposed to last year. It was almost like the opposite, and Logan was still being a bit mature, and up and close and personal. Become, and I'm gonna be the first coyote. That, that was fucked up, that. You, now you, that was fucked up. No comment on that one. There. You just ruined it. I don't think anyone likes you. Where's Deji at? Where's your family at? Hey, that is true. Jake Paul needs to fight Anissa and Gibb. He's the best challenger that's going to bring in that audience from the UK, obviously, as well as KSI, but also, the, obviously, Jake Paul needs to be on the card to bring the Disney fans as well to the sport. And I think... It, it's an even matchup, not like with Fusey Tube or with Alex and Sarby. Don't even get me started. Oh. Hey, can we put this guy? Hey, yo, <laughs> can you imagine? <laughs> you, know, you know you don't stand a chance. This year I got Shannon Briggs on my corner. I still can't. <laughs> Why is he a clown? Oh, it's because he, he, he is a clown. Let's be honest. He's clowning oh. around. Hey, go make a cake. What? That was quite odd when he said that. What are you on about? KSI, KSI, finally. I know you believe you win this fight. Do you believe you end it inside the distance? Ultimately, I'm going to go in and come. The objective of boxing, you don't say. You look like you're running with a dildo up your ass. He's a little bit bored, man. It's so good his edit. Shout out to Lil Boy. Please subscribe. That this is this is terrifying. This is where I got to question a lot of things. That's very. He's putting that very rage on display long. right now. I'm sure all the fans there at home watching. Back to him, him again. Right here on his toe. But you just mentioned it, Tevin. Oh the God. reach, that advantage. Four hundred pounds. Are you serious? Which goes to Logan oh. Paul. Yes. The 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 advantage, the advantage. The, the advantage definitely goes to the, 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 the advantage. advantage. All right, well, let's send it on over to Kenny, <laughs> who has one of our fighters. Oh. Logan Paul, how do you feel at that press conference? I'm disappointed. What the Bruh. fuck is that? That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. nuts. All right, well, thank you so much, Logan. Thank Good you. luck November yeah, 9th. Yeah, definitely out. Logan if you went. you to say one more thing to Logan Paul before this November 9th fight, what'd it be? I don't care about that. All right, well, thank you so much, KSI. <laughs> Good luck November 9th. Ignored. LOL. <laughs> What have I just witnessed? What have I just witnessed? Shout out to little boy, man. He's doing his thing. 
Anyway, moving on from all the memes and the funniness of it, that is, that is pretty much summed up what happened in the press conference. It's meant to be a professional boxing fight, which it is, with all the you know professional undercards on the fight. That's as Eddie Hearn said, no YouTubers. And we've just, I've discussed this before on the podcast. So if you're not subscribed, already subscribe and what's the, num the number two podcast in the world, the Underground Podcast. They got Billy Joe Saunders on the undercard, a very very big fighter, and many more pro fighters as well. But I thought it felt like obviously. I understand to a level they have to be entertaining to, to bring the YouTube audience into boxing, but at the same time, it's the way you go about it. And I feel like I feel like JJ did take the dub there. As much as I think Logan was trying more, and he's trying to be the entertainer, and I'm not biased in any way, even though I'm from the UK, I'm not biased. I love, I actually genuinely love them both. They're funny, but I feel like I don't know for, for the for the pro boxing pr press conference, it needed to be more professional. And it wasn't. I feel like if it was in the UK one's going to be interesting. It's going to be... Logan's going to get a lot of shit for it. Uh, Kate, JJ's going to be mocking it. It's going to be funny. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Did you think JJ, KSI took the dub or Logan Paul took the dub in this? Anyways, I'm going to sign out now. So thank you all for watching. I do appreciate every single one of you. Over 1,000 subscribers. Over 1,100 subscribers. Can we get 1,200 subscribers? From just from this video, hit the subscribe button, tell your friends, your family, your plants for all you vegans out there. Turn on that post notification bell so you get notified every single time I upload, which is daily. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Now your vids hold no weight, like Titanic channel sinking to the ground. Talking your piece on the web, karma always come around. Eating up these W's, can't you see I have the crown? Feasting on your enemies, dead and buried in the ground. Digging your own hole in the soil of what I found Your shit inconsistent, I don't really fuck around Put some respect on my name, you playing with the hounds I've been waiting, I've been saving all these bullets, all these rounds And I wonder why this hate or this hate don't come around I'm the king to the front of this shit, wearing the crown Flooding all you haters, you ain't shit, now you left to drown